hello friends welcome to this session in this session uh, i will introduce you with the ordinary switch the meaning of static switch and the solid state static switch that is a scr so to begin with uh, let me explain you how we use an ordinary switch to control the power in a circuit suppose there is a voltage source of say 12 volt plus and minus then this conducting wire switch and some load say for example there is a bulb and this negative terminal by wire to this load consider that the switch is connected between two terminals a and b okay uh, and this is the common experience that when switch is open this bulb will not glow and when this switch is closed bulb will glow now we want to discuss in terms of the switch state and the voltage across the switch and the current flowing to the switch so let us discuss uh, suppose this is the switch is in off state and on state and in both this state we wish to discuss the voltage across the switch and the current flowing through the load of the switch so let us tabulate our observation here now consider that this switch is open open means uh, there is an infinite resistance no current flows so when switch is off no current flows look at this circuit this terminal goes through the lamp and it reaches here so this is the negative terminal or you may call this as a zero volt line <coughs> zero and this positive 12 volt appears here so when switch is off entire source voltage source voltage appears across the switch so voltage across switch is 12 volt and no current flows now if i turn on this switch then see that what happens so this pole gets shorted with this and this is the best conductor and uh, no voltage develops across the switch so when switch is closed <coughs> sorry this positive line reaches here, this negative line reaches here and therefore no voltage develops across the switch and what about the current that will be decided by the load resistance so it will be 12 volt upon the load resistance for example there is a current of 500 milliampere so this is how we can discuss the switch when switch is open total voltage appears to the switch no current flows and when switch is on no voltage develops across the switch and large current flows so such switch can be used uh, to control the power in domestic equipment uh, we have used this switch we call this as on and off switch we call this as make and break switch why because uh, when you turn on the two poles get shorted and when you turn off the two pole gets open so make break make and break so this switch can be used uh, at low power but this switch has a major drawback that because of make and break every time you turn on and every time you turn off uh, there is a sparking between the two poles this sparking uh, increases the temperature of the contact and because of temperature there we get oxide formation we call it as carbon oxide and it has some finite resistance so as we go on using such switch with every make and break there is an increase in oxide and it has resistance therefore it begins to heat so over the period 
uh, this resistance increases switch resistance increases it begins to heat and therefore some power loss takes place in the switch itself and therefore not complete power is transferred to the load and that's why such switches are not using industry to handle large voltage and large power so what is the solution to this the solution is that to use what is called as static switch the name static indicates that there is a no uh, make and break but still sometimes current will go and sometimes current will not go depending upon its state whether that switch is on or off without make and break actually we have studied such a switch uh, we have studied in first year class the p n junction diode this is the symbol of p n junction diode and you know that when such a p n junction diode is forward biased p region is connected to positive side and n region is connected to negative side of the source then current flows through the diode and when this diode is reverse bias current doesn't flow isn't it like the switch so current flows and current doesn't flow uh, we have used this switch and you can also understand its working with the help of uh, characteristic let us uh, take diode parameters voltage and current like this let us take uh, voltage across diode on x axis positive means forward bias negative side we have reverse bias and corresponding current for reverse uh, bias and for forward bias uh, this is the zero value now we have seen that when the diode is forward by say make it 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and say about 0.6 volt for silicon diode we have seen that there is no current through the diode but the moment we reach at 0 0.6 the current through diode increases rapidly and see that the voltage across diode remains uh, close to 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 volt so during this that means till 0.6 the diode is off you can say no current flows and after 0.6 diode is on because large current flows we also studied that when diode is reverse biased say let us apply a reverse voltage to the diode say minus 10 minus 20 minus 100 minus 200 minus 500 600 700 800 and we have seen that very low leakage current flows which is a negligibly small but with the very large reverse voltage this diode may break down we call it as a avalanche breakdown which we have discussed already and uh, actually we are not interested in this region and we never operate the diode in this breakdown region our interest is this reverse bias no current it works as a off switch till 0.6 and after 0.6 positive voltage it was as a on switch so off and on isn't it like a switch but what is that that operates the switch it is the bias voltage of the diode it can be a forward bias it can be a reverse bias we have used this switch uh, uh, in one circuit rectified if you remember suppose this is a AC source and we connect a PN junction diode in series with the some load resistance and in AC you know that positive half cycle then we have negative half cycle and such say about 
50 cycles in one second. So every time during positive half cycle, the junction diet becomes forward bias and current flows. And for an, every negative half cycle, when this is positive with respect to this, uh, diet becomes reverse bias and no current flows. And there is no voltage across of this RLs. So during positive half cycle, voltage gets developed. And during negative half cycle, no voltage gets developed. And we have seen that it works as a rectifiers. So this is the how you can use PN junction diet. And what is it? It is a static switch. Now, what is the drawback of this switch is that only thing is that whenever the voltage across the junction diode becomes positive 0.6, it turns on, and we don't have control on this turning on voltage. So, this verse is here uncontrolled rectifier. This is its limitation, and therefore, what is a uh, that means what sh how should we modify this and that is nothing but our next important component that is a silicon controlled rectifier uh, in that case we'll have the control on this uh, turning on of this rectifier so let us consider that SCR uh, before studying the SCR let us see what is the thyristor actually thyristors is the name given to the multi-layer semiconductor switches uh, thyristor is the name of the family given to such switches thyristors usually have four or more layers and three or more junctions and uh, may have two to three four leads right so silicon control rectifier is important and very useful component from the thyristors so yes here stands for silicon controlled rectifier yes c r its, const its construction is like this it has four layers four layers p region n region p region and n region four layer because of the four layer we get three junctions let us call them as junction j1 junction j2 junction j3 so p region on one side is called as anode n region on other side is called as a cathode and p region close to this cathode is called gate so thus from this structure you can see that it is a four layer device it has three junctions and it has three terminals while manufacturing the doping level in this two inner region is kept at low level as compared to doping level of outer two layer for getting a best characteristics we shall discuss it later then its symbol is standardized in this way how to represent scr in circuit diagram so it is like this this is an anode this is a cathode and you know this symbol this reminds us that it is a pn junction diode anode and cathode but it has a third lead gate this is the standard symbol for silicon control rectifier so gate name is given because of uh, it will have control on conduction of the SCR. Later we shall study that gate, gate just as a gate has a control overflow. Similarly here, this gate lead will have some control on conduction of this SCR. Right. So this is silicon control rectifier. Then our following uh, topic will be 
studying the VI characteristics of SCR and you know that uh, in order to study electrical characteristics we have to apply voltages as this is the SCR it has an anode and cathode we need to apply positive voltage negative voltage we need to connect some source to the gate also to study its effect and by that we can observe its characteristics and also we can discuss uh, operation different operation modes of SCR in following lectures uh, thank you for listening if you have any suggestion please put them in comment box so that we can uh, discuss them in next session thank you